safe patient ratios, and safe, safe staffing, and safety in the workplace has been our number one reason for negotiations. We're fighting for the public safety, really. And, um, and Alina clearly doesn't see it that way. In June, we had a seven-day strike, and we really wanted to tell the employer that we were serious, but we were also very conscientious about walking away from the bedside and knowing how that would affect our patients. This time, we have no choice but to walk out with no end date, and then once again, we are sending a very loud and clear message to the employer uh, that we want this finished, and withholding our labor is the only way that it's gonna get done. We started negotiating back in February, uh, but we've been negotiating our contract for about seven months. We went to the table to talk about staffing and workplace safety, and they went to the table to talk about taking away our health insurance. We need to get back to the table and really talk about the core issues and get this settled. Every public statement that has come out from Alina has been that they want us to agree to the health care plans. If this was about health care plans, um, they would have settled on Friday when we had a 22-hour negotiation session and we actually gave up our health care and agreed to go on to their core health care plans. So we did it, and yet they still did not agree to the contract. So you tell me if that's about us being on their health care plan. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> We are the ones who provide care to the community, and by not supporting the nurses, Alina is not supporting the community. A year ago last spring, my father was in the hospital at Abbott. He'd been at the hospital many times prior, and I was always very impressed with the care he got. But during his last stay, the nurses were so busy and they were so, so short-staffed that my father would sit in his room without help, and the poor nurses suffered because they felt so bad about not being able to provide the care that they were there to give. And as a family member, the bathrooms were dirty um, because they don't have the staff to clean. The money is not going toward patients. It's not going toward the community. It has to be going somewhere else. This is a nonprofit. I, I really do not understand what Align is doing with its funds. Why are you out here? Do you know? Because of her. <laughs> because of your grandma. And our neighbor's a nurse, and my best friend is a nurse, and my cousin's a nurse, and my aunt's a nurse, and my uncle is a nurse anesthetist, and my other cousin is a nurse. Woo! Nurses are important. And the work they do is important. We love what we do, and that's why we're here. Nurse at um, Abbott for 26 years. I, I love the people I work with. I love the care that we get to provide every day to be there for people's most intimate moments you know we get to help people go through the hardest times that they will ever have in their entire life and that's a privilege and an honor and we don't take that lightly but if we aren't cared for ourselves then we can't be those caregivers that the patients deserve this is about the hospital trying to take our voice and our unity out of our workplace um, and busting our union. A union that has existed for many decades and has uh, built our profession that anyone who enters it can be proud to do, can earn a good living, be a professional, provide for their family, and really make a difference in people's lives. I'm gonna stay out here until I know I can go back in this building with my voice, with the unity of my nursing brothers and sisters, understand I'm going to have a safe workplace.